Yo, what's up, everybody? Thanks for joining us here on this live recording of the Block Talk podcast here on Facebook Gaming. I'm your host, See Through. For those of you that don't know, I am a Minecraft streamer here on Facebook Gaming, and I started this podcast to kind of give my community some additional content to listen to on the daily. Shortly, this podcast will be searchable on all podcast platforms, and uh, currently it's on Spotify and Amazon Podcasts. Uh, today, guys, we've got two guests with us. We've got uh, Mr. Bearded Wonder as well as Mr. Glass Fox Gaming. Say hello, everybody. Hi. Hey, oh. how's it going? What's up? What's up? This is going to be fun. Fun times. All right. So um, neither Beard or Glass Fox have been on the show yet up to this point. So I am going to give the floor over to Mr. Beard. Let him tell you a little bit about himself. And uh, we'll move on to Glass after that. And Beard, go ahead and take the floor, sir. All right. Uh, I am Bearded Warner Gaming. I've been on the Facebook platform for almost two years at this point. Um, I focus mainly on Minecraft, but I do other survival and horror type games um, for laughs, mostly. Do it for the memes. <laughs> all right, cool. That's all you got? The intro, yeah. Nice. <laughs> all right. And uh, Mr. Glass Fox, let everybody, let everybody know what you got going on. Howdy, hey, what's going on? Uh, I'm Glass Fox Gaming. My name is Kyle, and uh, I stream on Facebook, uh, just strictly Minecraft. Um, I'm fairly new to the streaming world and community, uh, just a baby. Um, I've been streaming for about two months now, a little over two and a half months, somewhere around there. Um, yeah, I, I try to go live four or five times a week. Um, still have a full-time job and kids, so, you know, kind of got to juggle all that good stuff. But, um, but yeah, um, fell in love with Minecraft, uh, again, probably about six, seven months ago. Um, really got into it, learning kind of uh, a lot more, uh, in, in depth detail of all the uh, mechanics and, and the fun gameplay of that. So, um, so yeah. you're sucked in yeah, there, huh? <clears throat> exactly. <laughs> well, we all can tell you for sure. It's a deep, dark hole and it never ends. That is Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys, today we're going to be talking about um, some of our experiences growing up with uh, with gaming, man. Like what what got us into gaming? Like what the uh, you know, like where did it all start? Where did it all come from? And uh, I'm going to start off probably asking. Um, let's start off with Glass Fox. We're going to ask him about uh, what was your what was your first system and your favorite like games that you can remember back in the day? Yeah, so I've always been a fan of video games, for sure. Um, I remember the first video game I held in my hands uh, was from my dad. It was actually one of his video games. It was a, um, a small, about the size of a notebook um, game. And I believe it was, I'm trying to think, I think it was um, like a sp Space Invaders style game. It had a little joystick, you'd go left and right. And then you just turn the power on and you get like a black screen with like the and it was handheld but up yeah handheld yep. wow that's crazy yeah it was pretty cool um but like my, my first true system was like you know the original nintendo with the mario brothers and the duck hunt uh the little orange and gray uh, <laughs> oh, dude, click duck gun hunt. That you plug in yep yep that's kind of where days. i started I wonder if they have any sort of like uh present day like like uh recreation of like you know the duck hunt and the and the gun and everything else. Uh, they do. They've got a, uh, a machine called the Retron. Let you play all of the old game system games on it. Oh, nice! And the gun and all too, huh? Mm-hmm. Sweet. I'm going to look into yeah. that. The Retron. Do 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 Retron. <laughs> it's probably like a it's probably like a main machine that just has like emulator on it or something, huh? And it's got like a thousand games or something. No, matter of fact. Uh, uh oh, he's got one. Uh oh, he's, he's got one. Very, very nice. What's up, Jared, Tracy, Josh? How you guys doing? The Retron HD three or five? Oh yeah, we got the Retro Master in the chat right now, the Grand Master. But uh, so my very first system that I ever got was a Super Nintendo, from what I can remember, and. 
man, I played the crap out of that thing. I love Super Nintendo. And then at, it's funny because we were talking about this before we went live. I, I didn't actually get my Atari until after I got my Super Nintendo first. <laughs> but uh, the bad, bad story about that was, and I also had an N64 that following Christmas too, I think, when it first came out. But my my house got robbed and they took my Atari and my 64 and my Super Nintendo and I've never been more heartbroken in my life, dude. <laughs> like, absolutely like the worst case ever. Like they stole your childhood. Yeah, man. And you know, like when we when we bought the Atari, um, you know, this was like before Craigslist and stuff. So I'm pretty sure my dad had seen an ad like, you know, like a post, like a thumbtack pay a piece of paper at the gas station or something that said Atari for sale. <laughs> Lots of games. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know how they did that back in the day. I don't know if it was just word of mouth or, or like a post-it board or something. <laughs> how funny would that be though? Like just go in the gas station and you just see this like sticky note, like on a cork board and you're like Atari for sale. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sounds about right. Right. Uh, what you got, apologies. man? It's, it's upstairs. Um, oh, so, rip. Uh, but it, it's a. It looks about like a Super Nintendo top loader. It lets you play the original Nintendo, Nintendo, or the Super Nintendo system, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and the. Uh, there's one other one that's. Did uh, you know? Hunt. Oh, okay. Josh says. Do you know that the controller was a second person that could play and control the duck and duck hunt? Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. Control what? The duck. I feel like <laughs> I, I never. I feel like I never knew that, what? man. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Um. So we got Jared in the chat. He's uh. You know, if you don't know who he is, Thumb Tacos, super super awesome guy. Always into retro games. So we gotta we gotta have to definitely step our game up for the for the <laughs> audience here because he's a he's a guru. <laughs> A mighty guru. Uh, Steve says they need a Retron that plays Nintendo 64 as well. Yeah, they do need one. Is that is that the HD5? Is that what that does? Maybe? I don't know. I had at one point, probably two years ago, where I uh, bought like one of those type of systems. I don't remember what it was called. It might have been a Retron. I don't know. But, but yeah, I started I started going on that duck hunt or that goose hunt for for all those old cartridges man <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Not then you could, and then you come to find out those puppies ain't cheap <laughs> there's yeah. been some inflation added to that market for sure yeah yeah i'm gonna hold on to the ones i've got <laughs> i would man i would and then you know you watch pawn stars and you've seen like the gold-plated all-stars nintendo game go in there for like a million bucks or some crap it's like dude I th i'm pretty sure i had that when i was a kid <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had that. What the heck? Just like Pokemon cards, too. I had all those. I had like 10 Charizards. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. Uh, let's see here. The Trap says, Glass Fox seems really cool, by the way. Rated him randomly last night with no SBK on and really enjoyed his stream. Yo, dude, you're getting you're getting all this <laughs> traction from random raids from SBK guys. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> I know. I'm super excited. That's the same way that I met him, Trap. And then I found out that he's a he's an avid watcher of the stream and, and most of everybody's streams, really. Yeah. Pretty yep. crazy. Pre I've been pronouncing his name wrong. The whole yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> the whole time. If you ever see a guy that looks like he's named Keel, it's definitely Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> So what was you guys as uh let's let's go right into 64 when things started hitting the fan as far as like you know a whole new world of gaming what's what was some of you guys' favorite 64 games well the one that ruins friendships so mario kart <laughs> <laughs> for sure yep they have a bar here in town and this is a brilliant idea this is absolutely genius there's a bar in town it's called headshots and what it is, is you go in there and there's couches everywhere with gaming systems in front of all these couches. And you literally have a waitress that brings you drinks and food. And you just sit there with your friends and just play games. 
Like that is just a that insane. And it's great because you can relive things like the, you know, beating your friends at Mario Kart or, or like a Halo Land party like type of deal or, or whatever. It's just really awesome concept. Trap says uh, perfect dark is yeah. the best. I've got, uh... <laughs> I lost you. Uh oh. Oh, he froze even. <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, that oh, was there a... you are. There you are. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Uh, you guys froze on my end, so I was like, uh, what just happened? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I gotta agree. Perfect Dark and GoldenEye. <laughs> Definitely yeah, GoldenEye. GoldenEye, dude. Yep. And you know what really sucks about GoldenEye? Is, so say you're playing an emulator with your your Xbox controller or something, and you're like, man, I remember GoldenEye. That was a sweet game. And you install the, you install the ROM and you run it, and then you're like, Oh my god, dude, this is garbage. Like the controls are awful. Like you have to hold down like the like the right bumper and then move your crosshair with your joystick and it's like so you're looking here and all of a sudden your joystick you're like you're you're like having to like look up with your gun all you're just moving your gun around in the screen. It's like, "Oh my god, it was so bad." And it sucks because I wish it was I wish it was playable, but I can't even play it with a freaking Xbox controller. It's it's playable. It's just we got so used to going from one joystick to two. Mm-hmm. Very true. Very true. <laughs> uh, tell them about the arcade. Oh yeah. So when I was in Japan, there was this seven-story arcade. This is what kind of sparked this whole idea for this podcast too. There's a seven-story right. arcade called Round One in Japan. Super awesome arcade. Like first floor is all arcade games. Second floor is a bowling alley skating rink on the next one and then just like pong and air hockey and it's like this just seven story thing and you pay twenty dollars to get in the front door and that's it oh, wow yeah it's it was amazing you go in there and go ball you go rollerblade you could shoot archery they had archery in there and axe throwing and in every arcade game you could possibly think of but uh awesome. me and rowan and jessica went to the mall the other day and I'm like, I'm like, Rowan, you want to go try and find an arcade? Because that mall over there, I don't, I don't go very, very often to the, to the bougie side of town. And I went, well, that's where <laughs> we ended up going. And uh, yeah, we, I was, we were walking around, and that scene it says round one, and I'm like, no way, dude, <laughs> no way. Uh, and we went in there, and I was like, it says like little signs all over the place says straight from like straight from Tokyo, and all the way from Tokyo, and this, and I'm like, oh my god. This is awesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Super awesome, man. Uh, the, there's one go out ahead. near Nashville. Uh, there's one out near Nashville. You pay twenty bucks, and all the machines are unlocked. Um, as well, it, you can sit in there and play all day for twenty bucks. I, oh, yeah. It's right next to uh, right next to the observatory science place. To, That's a super cool concept, really. It really is. Especially for the people that are going. Maybe not so oh, yeah. much for the business aspect. but <laughs> Yeah, because you know people spend more than 20 bucks. Oh, yeah. And can you imagine the amount of quarters that went through machines back in the day? Like the 80s, man? Oh, my God. They probably made some bank. <laughs> Especially since the quarter was that. worth a lot more back then. <laughs> right. <laughs> or imagine the uh, electrical bill places like that have. <clears throat> oh, you're right, man. Especially with all those like tube-style like monitors on all the arcade machines Woo. pulling all kinds of electricity josh says the game that ruined friendships is golden eye for sure <laughs> <laughs> let's see if we can remember some some uh unlockable cheats from golden eye you guys remember any of them oh boy oh gosh the golden gun for one all all golden guns that one was right. a really fun one. big head mode oh yeah <laughs> big head mode. Oh, you remember God. the uh the floating mines. Remember those? I don't know if that was like an unlockable thing. If it was a more like oh, a all the proximity mines, dude. Yeah, oh my mines. god. Yep. Paintball mode. Yep. Paintball mode. Yep. yep. Paintball mode that. was sick. And I'll never forget the cradle. What what was it called? The level. The map was called like the cradle or something. It might have uh, just been called the cradle. Yeah, I think it was the cradle. DK mode. That's what it was. The oh, big the yeah. big head the big heads. <laughs> Uh, Jared's got some questions for you about your guitars. Oh, what style do I play? Uh, honestly, a little bit of everything. Um, classic rock, metal, country, 
you name it. I I grew up in Tennessee, so it's kind of where all music meshes together. <laughs> um, so I've yeah, got it's, the, it's got quite I, the plethora. Yeah, those style. Well, the semi hollow is more of a country style. That one over there is more of a metal style. Um, uh, metal, alt metal, punk, that kind of stuff. Uh, that one over there, uh, that one's more of like a classic rock feel. Um, He's just a jack of all music. <laughs> I, I bought guitars based off of what I wanted to play. So you bought them based off what you wanted to play, but have you been able to successfully play any of them? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've been able to really crank them up because, well, I bought amplifiers that are too loud for my kids. Uh, <laughs> I hear that. Shaking the house. I was sad, yeah. man. When I, when I, Another st- little story from when I was in Japan, I, I bought a Johnson or Jackson beautiful mm-hmm. guitar over there, and I bought it when the, yen wa- the, when the yen rate was through the floor, dude. So it was like a $700 guitar, dollar guitar, and I got it for like 200 bucks. Oh, nice. And I brought it yeah. back with me. And I tell you, man, sometimes, especially when you're younger, life hits like a truck. And uh, I think I think Kyle was just was just talking about something like this earlier uh, with a car. But uh, so I brought it back. I paid to ship it back from Japan with me and I brought it home as well as like a big 320 watt Vox amp. And that was my baby. And and I kid you not, life, you know, took over and things fall apart. And then you and then you just need money, dude. And I'm pretty sure I sold it for about forty dollars at a freaking at a pawn shop. <laughs> I was like, "That's all you guys can give me." Yep, that's all we can give you. God, man, I really need the cash. That sucks. I got to get back into playing guitar though. It's fun. I'd... Just uh, most of mine has been unplugged here recently. Yeah, got to get back into it, man. No, no, I mean unplugged, like not into the amp. <laughs> oh, oh, I got you. I see what you're saying. We'll wake up the kids. I see what you're saying. Let's get back on the topic of uh, games and stuff games. here. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's all good. We can talk about whatever. But um, so, did you guys ever do any Halo Land parties and stuff when you were little? Yes. How about you, Glass? You, you... Um, I um was more of a, a single player campaign kind of guy. I like to like to play the the full games and um, I would play multiplayer with my my dad. You know, we go head to head, things like that. Um, I didn't uh, really get into online gaming until maybe, you know, a couple of years ago. Let us uh, beard since you since you're on the same page here. Um, what uh, let us know kind of like the the setup and stuff you guys had back in the day for for land parties. Oh, did he freeze again? <laughs> oh, there he is. He's back. Because oh, <laughs> I just looked down and I could hear you, but you were not moving. Um, so for the land parties, it was pretty much one of those things where you get a bunch of your friends over with pizza and Mountain Dew. and Back when Domino's whatever. had a pepperoni for five bucks or something, you just... Yep. Get like stacks of stacks of pizza boxes. <laughs> what, whatever big bulky TV you could you could physically carry in. Because I forgot about that. Flat screens didn't enough. exist back then, dude. I didn't even think about that. What the heck? Oh yeah, my god, dude. I, I, I remember because my friends <laughs> lived across the street. I had like maybe like a 22 inch tube TV, and that sucker was heavy. Oh <laughs> and god. I remember setting it on my skateboard, duct taping it up, and attaching a rope to it. And I literally, every time I'd go over to my friend's house, I'd be rolling down the road with a tube TV <laughs> on a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> that's great oh, that's Just great for that uh, you had the guys that would uh, take duct tape and a uh, in a sheet and put the the line between the tv so one person was at the yeah bottom. no no cheating no yeah no yep. screen no screen peeking <laughs> yep yep uh Man, Jessica wants me to tell you guys too about the uh, arcade. We uh, a long 
probably a couple years back, we went uh, on a date to downtown, and this was when they first, I don't know if they've got these where you guys are from, but uh, they have like scooters and stuff that you can uh, purchase downtown in downtown Wichita to more or less like ride around electric scooters. You can use them to ride around like downtown in the middle of the night and stuff. Super cool. But uh, we ended up stumbling upon this old arcade, dude, that was like a legit old school quarter in pac-man type of arcade it was it was awesome it was a jewel and that that puppy was popping with you know millennials all up in there playing pac-man and donkey kong and stuff <laughs> it was a good time and it wasn't like a ticket system where you get your tickets to get a prize it was just literally just go in there and go for the high scores and that was it it was super awesome uh, have you seen the capability of the 3D TV with split screen thing? Oh, no. Have you? Oh, oh, okay. So basically what they did was they took the basic principles of a 3D TV, which is you've got 3D glasses that aren't the red and blue anymore. They've got, um, oh, crap, they're polarized. So you've got one lens that is polarized this way and one that is polarized this way. Huh. So you see both images but it meshes together in your brain and makes them 3D. Well, there's a feature of this one where they can put the split screen on the two different ones. So you have one person that has polarized this way across both lenses and one that has them this way. And you're both looking at the same screen, but you only see your gameplay. That's wild. That's crazy. Scott mentioned uh, computer LAN parties too. Oh. And, I, and I never actually personally got into computer land parties but my dad literally used to drag me along with him to go to go watch him play battlefield 1942 <laughs> in a in a bank basement with like 40 other old guys <laughs> and i remember he had a projector like he was like you know like oh ho, ho, i'm the best one and he had like everybody's got monitors and he's got a projector on the wall flying f-16 like with a joy with the old logitech joystick you know <laughs> that's a crazy man it's crazy thinking about all this stuff got a visitor <laughs> what's up visitor <laughs> little hey, hi. little fry hi. <laughs> cutie cutie uh let's see here super smash brothers was another great one i never got good at that game i i enjoyed super smash brothers a lot um and they've added so many different versions of it now. There's my wife in chat. There's yep, my girl. Yep. <laughs> better be on your better be on your toes. You're being watched. They I also like playing Super Smash. Were you pretty good at it? Game. I was okay. Um, not anymore. Uh, my my six year old son has Nintendo Switch, and um, he uh, beats the socks off of me in Super Smash Dude, now. <laughs> kids are insane at video games. My son has been playing Minecraft for maybe a month and a half. And he's like, Dad, I built a TNT launcher. And I turn around. I'm like, whatever. You know, like, that's silly. And I turn around and he's got he's got like a piston machine with slime blocks launching TNT across the world and I'm like dude you gotta show me how you did that <laughs> he's four and a half years old dude oh it just blew my mind man absolutely blew my mind I had a thought here and I already forgot what the heck it was I got sidetracked <laughs> um, Trap says I love Command and Conquer Renegade FPS based in the Command and Conquer universe multiplayer and it's super fun huh Command and Conquer Renegade. I don't know if I ever got into that or not. Oh, I know what I was going to talk about. Mortal Kombat, dude. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Mortal That's a classic. Infuriating for me. I could never get it down. <laughs> I had no problem beating the game, getting all the way up to, to uh, Goro and beating Goro. Like, no problem at all. But the thing that bugged me is I had bought a book with, like, my, you know, dishwashing allowance. <laughs> I had a little book that told me all the all the fatalities and I still to this day have not successfully completed one Mortal Kombat fatality. Dude. <laughs> same same I'm like, thing what do you, to me, I'm like what do you mean dude you walk up and it's like up down up down a b a b up down up down and then you do it and all of you guys is going to go boop. <laughs> it's like <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> definitely relate oh. to that. Oh, yeah. Beard's probably like done them all blindfolded or something. <laughs> no, no, no. My my technique was being the person that came up and went. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. You said nah. Fatalities are for are for big brains. <laughs> I'm yeah, good. It was it was one of those for somebody. Josh said he has on the Mu one. I haven't played Mortal Kombat in so long. The last Mortal Kombat I played, and you guys in the chat or, or y'all might be able to help me remember which one this is. I might, I think it might have been Annihilation because it was almost more like an RPG where you walk around and you go find your fights rather than rather than just like, you know, round one start. It was more like an RPG, and I can't remember which one that was, but it was super awesome. But that was the last one I played for sure. Button smash. Yeah, that sounds about right. Exactly. I used to get my butt kicked by my brother, and that's all he would do. I'm over here trying to be like strategic mm -hmm. and like watching, watching elbow swing and stuff. <laughs> and he's just like, <laughs> button, button smash. Spam. Yep. Steve says Xbox. We used to have LAN parties at my place. My roommate had wired the house for Ethernet, so we had four TVs and four rooms with four Xboxes and sixteen players. That's the optimal That's thing, awesome. dude. Yeah, we had something similar, but it wasn't like set up. So every weekend we would, uh, everybody would get together. You know, everybody would skateboard their TVs across town, and <laughs> we'd all meet up at the house. And uh, um, my friend's dad was just super cool, and unfortunately he passed away here re recently to uh, terminal entire body cancer, which definitely probably was not good. Mainly because you know he's kind of like me, where it's just like, oh crap, I think I broke my leg, but I'll be fine. Just rub it off. <laughs> but so yeah. he like, so he never went to the doctor till he just like had a seizure one day. And uh, yeah, found out, went to the doctor because of the seizure, found out he had terminal cancer in like his entire body. Freaking wow. nuts. But I've got some good memories with him. And uh, he used to call the needler the stinky pinky. And he refused, <laughs> he refused to let anybody in the house use that gun. He, he would make these silly rules. No grenades, no snapping, no rockets. He said, if you can't fight me with an assault rifle, you're a big old... <laughs> Man, we used to have so much fun with him. But, but one day, and he's a very religious person, and there was like, you know, there was like 10 of us kids. Um, he, uh, one of my friends decided to troll him and you know, back then you could change your your profile name like really easily on original Xbox. You just change what your name says, and you're you're back in it. Which back then mine used to be the Klutz. That was my original <laughs> Halo One gamer name. Oh wow! But uh, one of the guys one day made his name Antichrist, and oh my God! Ooh. Let me tell you, dude. He, we started that game up, and he said he got killed by Antichrist. He went down to the breaker box and killed all the power in the house until he found out which one it was. And I kid you not, he kicked his butt, dude, like <laughs> royally. <laughs> Just holy cow, dude. Crazy stories of those of those land parties back in the day. Uh, let's see here. Let's read some stuff. TNT launched the end dragon would be interesting to try. Oh, speaking of that, not to go off t topic or not, but have you guys ever thought about like, so you go to fight the end dragon, and he's got the pillar in the middle. Have you ever thought about like pillaring up a little bit and then maybe making like a T formation up there and then just putting a bunch of lava, like lava slices everywhere. And like when he comes down, he's just going to be sitting in lava. I wonder if that would kill him. I don't know if he takes fire damage. Yeah. See, I don't know. Makes me want to try it. <laughs> Um, it was probably like 1.12 uh, Minecraft. Uh, I was playing in Bedrock, and I saw something on YouTube. I don't remember who it was, but they created um, an Ender Dragon killing farm. It had some sort of apparatus that would um, automatically kill the dragon and respawn in another dragon afterwards and just like put it on a, an infinite loop. Wow, that's um, an XP was, farm right there. <laughs> that's yeah. an XP farm. <laughs> Yeah. 70 levels per kill it's easy Goodness. that would be something really cool to set up uh, let's see yeah, here that would be... <laughs> 
Uh, let's see here. That was after Annihilation. Oh, the Mortal Kombat I was talking about earlier. There we. That's where you go wrong. Got a button smash. You got to. <laughs> you got to. That's the cheat code for yeah. for Mortal Kombat for sure. Uh, let's see. What are we at for thirty one minutes? You guys got anything else you want to talk about, man? Well, you we said to come up with questions for uh, for you. Yeah, sure. What you so got? Let, let's do one for for both of you here. Um, let's say, and I hope this never happens, but it, it is a video game, so it'll eventually happen. Let's <laughs> say the servers for Minecraft go offline tomorrow. What direction do your does your stream go? Oh Lord. <laughs> I would have to go back to Apex, I guess. I don't really know. That's that's crazy. I mean, I mean that's kind of stuff that'll happen. It can happen, dude. A meteor yeah. can come close to too close to the Earth, and all of a sudden we lose all electronic power on the whole freaking planet. I mean, that kind of stuff could actually happen, and that's scary to think about. Just because you know it's not the seventies, we've got electronics. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh man, I don't know, man. What do you got, uh, Kyle, about that whole situation? <laughs> yeah, I like how we went from. Uh... Oh well, yeah, we used to play Atari and Super Nintendo to the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, the, end, the end of Minecraft. Or the end of Minecraft, yeah. yeah. But um, no, if uh, if for some reason, you know, like the, the servers went out, I'd probably just like, um, you know, play, play it like on my console or, you know, single player type thing where I have it just like saved on my computer. But um, I guess if there was one other game I would play and stream, gosh. That's a tough one. Um, probably some sort of RPG game. Uh, maybe like, um, you know, maybe some of the, the Marvel, uh, uh, not Marvel, but like Elder Scroll series, you know, like Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind, something like that. But, yeah. I had a time pop pop up on my, uh, on my Facebook yesterday from uh, 10 years ago, and it was just a picture of Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind disc. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I was like, why you got to do this to me? I need to go play that now. And then I'm probably going to be extremely Love disappointed. <clears throat> Love Marwin, man. That, I feel was, like that I, was my game. Guy. I feel like I had like the first 10 minutes of, of scripting and stuff memorized. And I feel like I still have it in my brain. <laughs> oh, yes, we've been expecting you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. You have to be recorded before you're officially released. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remember because I had like a system, bro. Like I would, I would steal the golden plate behind the guy, drop it on the ground real fast. The guard would be like, "Hey, you can't steal that." And then, and then you wouldn't have it. So you just pick it back up, and that's like six fifty gold right off the bat. Yeah. <laughs> like heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the and then the health regen codes for Morrowind were the best too. You couldn't you couldn't play the game without those. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, I remember that. Um, see through. I got a question for you. Yeah, what you um, got, man? I'm, I'm sure other people know, but how did you get your name, see through? <laughs> this is actually a funny one. Good, good question. Um, so technically, for anybody that's played World of Warcraft in the chat, a long time ago, that was about all that I ever played. Like back in like 2010 to like 2016, probably. I literally just played World of Warcraft all the time even when i was in the oh yeah even when i was in the marine corps so man it was it was even further back than that but but uh so on world of warcraft there's a there's a class race called the night elf and the night elf's passive ability is the ability to turn invisible so i literally named him see-through thinking that i spelled it correctly okay <laughs> I thought I spelled it right, which if anybody knows me, I am a bad speller. Like, I cannot spell nothing right. <laughs> so, yeah, man, that character wound up being like a top tier high end WoW character with all the goods and and stuff. And it's just stuck with me, man. Just see through. But for a little bit, I changed it to old school. But I don't know if I like old school as much as I like to see through. So I don't know. It just kind of stuck, man. Good question, though. Good question. A real good question. And see through doesn't have anything to do with Mario anything, which is the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> right. But we're just running with it. What about you, man? Glass Fox. What's that got? To, yeah, I'm curious about that. Yeah, so um, 
I was actually uh, talking with my uh, oldest son, uh, trying to figure out, you know, some sort of name, you know, a gaming name. And um, mm-hmm. we went through a bunch of different things. And um, when I was younger, I had a 1985 um, Ford Mustang GT, uh, five liter V8. And uh, we tore down the uh, the engine and put big cams in it and everything. I mean, it was it was a beast. It was fun. But that is a um, a fox body is what they called it. Uh. Um, and so the fox kind of derived uh, from that. And then from there, we just kind of looked online for like different names with the word fox in it. And uh, my son's like, what what about glass fox? I'm like, that that kind of sounds cool. And we didn't really see a whole lot of you know things out there with glass fox. We're like, that's that's what it is. There you go. Go with. Yep. You definitely got to find kind of a niche name, you know, like like something that you can Google and that's all you'll find. <laughs> like right, see-through, right. the way I have it spelled. I mean, obviously, if you spell it like I have it spelled, like I am all over Google and all kinds of places. Just don't uh, just don't look me up on YouTube, preferably. It'd probably be a bad thing. That never goes well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and the bearded wonder is, is slightly obvious, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> You're just missing your super suit. Where's my super suit? <laughs> <laughs> my cape came out in the front. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How long is that puppy? Let's see. Let's see the full. Uh, That's a big old beard right there. That's a big old beard. Yeah, got to be got at least like. It's at least like three feet long, huh? 15 inches as of the last measurement which was done on stream oh well well like they say everything just appears bigger on camera right yeah (laughs) (laughs) lord i apologize (laughs) you looked me up on youtube and found me no problem hey that's good that means i must be winning against all the shirtless bimbos out there (laughs) <laughs> you realize the entire chat is now going to uh, YouTube. You would look for oh, <laughs> hey, see that was a marketing ploy, is what that was. I just slid that right yep. in there. <laughs> oh gosh. That's funny. Any more questions? I like this. Um if you guys um I guess uh, bearded wonder, if you had uh, one place that you would like to travel anywhere in the world, what uh where would you go? The mountains of Japan, and I've got a kid in the background. Uh, <laughs> uh, the mountains of Japan. I've always been a car guy. I've always loved mountain pass driving. Um, unfortunately, they've started to put a lot of speed reduction things on the mountain passes um, due to people doing exactly what I would want to go do. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the everything that i've seen of like the mountain passes in japan are beautiful they've got amazing scenery um they a lot of them overlook some of their smaller towns um i can i can tell you from everywhere i've been in the world next to oregon japan is the most beautiful place i've ever been in my life and the cool thing too is if you go like to mount fuji i believe is what it's called um so when you start at the bottom, if you're wanting to go mountain climbing and hiking and stuff, they give you a stick. And on that stick, um, once you reach a certain height, there's a little little Japanese guy up there that will like carve a piece out. And then you get to come home with this walking stick, you know, showing your adventure up the mountain and see how high you've gotten for each little each little Japanese guy that walks up there every day, <laughs> just to his little spot on the mountain. That's awesome. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, Have you all noticed what the beard is made out of in Beard's logo? Uh, No, I know it's got something in it. It, It's Beard Rock. Oh, it's Beard Rock. (laughs) (laughs) Bedrock Beard Rock. Yeah. Oh. (laughs) For a second there, I was like, what is he saying? (laughs) You know what? Somebody told me yesterday to ask you a question about your beard, and I can't remember what the heck it is off the top of my head. Oh, man. Who was that? I can't remember, man. Dang. They're going to be mad at me, whoever it was. 
<laughs> well, if they if they want to ask the question, they're more than welcome to ask it in chat. So there you go. It was probably just to be funny. You probably already know about it. <laughs> probably. All right. Yeah, one last one last question for you guys. Yeah, if what's that's up? okay. If go not, for it. Um, I was gonna say, um, if you could, um, knowing what you know now with streaming, um, if you could go back to yourself on day one when you first started streaming, what would be one thing uh, that you would uh, tell yourself, like future? I'll take. Your I'll take this one first. <clears throat> okay. Um, I would tell myself to learn how to become less toxic more pg like right off the bat because i personally like i want to show everybody like my first stream just because i think it'd be cool to like react to it but it is so god awful toxic i was cussing out dirt blocks i was like it was it was awful man and i was like I was like, no wonder I'm not watching myself. I can't, or no wonder I wasn't getting any traction in the beginning because I would not watch this. Like knowing what I know now, I would not. No, I don't. I don't. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely what I would t would have told myself for sure. Um, as far as mine goes, I would have told myself to stick with Facebook and tough out the glitches that they had. Um, I I for a short time decided to step away from Facebook and go over to the Purple Beast um, whenever they had their returning viewer glitch right after they announced that they were going to do uh, returning viewers as their way of getting supporters and they were reading for zero for everybody right before I was able to get supporters. Mm -hmm. um, yep, I that, that frustrated me a little bit so I stepped away from the platform and went over there and uh, I still think that's probably one of my biggest mistakes I've done. Same here. I did the same thing. I got frustrated with it. And, and you know, occasionally, like, the biggest advice we can give anybody out there is just no matter, you know, if you're 20 viewers one day and zero the next, just keep going. Just keep the same thing going. Just believe in yourself. If you've got faith in your stream, your faith in your content, just keep going and don't change anything because... Just because nobody's seen you today doesn't mean that your number one fan won't see you tomorrow. You know what I mean? Just keep just keep going. If you believe in it, just keep on chugging along. Exactly. That's good stuff. And it'll reflect, man. If you're happy and you're happy with your content, it'll reflect it'll reflect in your in your numbers for sure. Absolutely. All right. Anything else, boys? chat any questions from you guys to either me or or these two gentlemen I have to learn to not allow negative people to get get to me to start again yeah yeah I remember when old uh, steel worker Scott was rocking rocking it back in the day it's just you know at the end of the day streaming is you have to ask yourself one question in the beginning and that question is, do you want to do this full time as a job or do you just want to do it for fun? Right. And a lot of people are going to say, oh, I just want to do it for fun. And if it turns into a job, it turns into a job. You can't you just have you have to set in stone that decision up front and then you have to treat it like a business because it is it's you're you know, you're you're people are paying for you to do what you do and you just got to stick with it, man. That's the biggest thing. Cut the beard for 10K stars. Right. Yeah, I see, I see <laughs> yeah. Matt saying cut the beard for 10K stars. I'll be more than happy to cut see through beards for you know, beard for 10K stars. Um, <laughs> this one, this isn't going anywhere. Um, I'll be if, more than happy to cut my own beard for less than that. <laughs> yeah. um, so uh, I have been told by my wife who has never seen my chin keep that in mind <laughs> um that if i if i ever cut this off and she sees my chin that i will be divorced so it's 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 staying on you know how many times <laughs> you know how many times i've just randomly went to the bathroom and came out with uh no hair on my face and no hair on my head <laughs> and the look no you hair. get is just like 
<laughs> What'd you do with my Who's husband? That? Like, who is that guy? <laughs> oh gosh. And just like, nope, I can't. Nope, nope, I can't look at you right now. Yeah, that's bad. You definitely have to ask for permission before you cut your hair off or your beard off. <laughs> right. Now, the beard's beard staying. Uh, it'll probably stay about the length it is right now because if it gets much longer than this, it uh, it gets in the way a lot. Um, like there are times where I'll be sitting in the recliner and I'll go to sit up and it'll get stuck in the fold between my belly and my lap, which didn't used to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you gotta stand it, up and you just go uh, <laughs> yep, <right. laughs> that's funny uh, That that's a thing I can't uh, swim with it because it gets stuck in my armpits whenever I try and swim and it drags my head under um, you gotta get you some beads and braids man yeah. <laughs> I did do the, I let my wife braid it once and it looked like the goofiest looking rat tail I've ever seen. <laughs> so what you're saying is she just can't braid or it just didn't look good. No, she she gave it a real nice tight braid, I think was the issue. If she had done a loose braid, it might have looked a little more a little more Vikingy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What it looked like was Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I think we want to see pictures. I think we want to see pictures. No, there's no evidence that that ever happened. And there will be no evidence that ever happened. <laughs> Trap said. Trap said he's debating on what to do about his. Trap's got a pretty mighty beard too, to be honest. Yeah, he does. He does. Just need to I get you some. Good. What kind of what kind of oils and stuff do you use? Do you use any? I used to use a bunch, and I noticed a difference. But I haven't, dude. I haven't used beard oils or or anything like that in so long. I probably need to. It has been a long time since I've really done anything with my beard because don't really leave the house so the only times that i really look presentable is whenever i'm standing in front of the camera uh <laughs> so uh i'm actually i'm about to start doing some more work on my beard and taking care of it the way it's supposed to be and there you go make it look all pretty a little bit better than than i have been because I've, I've been i'm a i'm a stay-at-home dad and a full-time streamer so i'm in the like same said, boat I, man i've I i've been <laughs> I've been going through the same thing where I just need to get up and and get around a little bit more and I've been I've been putting off a lot of stuff outside of content and streaming so I definitely feel you there I got to get up and and do some other things. Tracy says uh but you did braid on stream bearded I remember. Yes, yes, that one. That one was the one that I actually allowed to be seen. <laughs> uh, because the other one was no. Just no. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't grow it. I just get like this little lightning bolt pattern on the side, and that's <laughs> about it. That's like about it. the gist of what I get. You should keep it and totally just say ka -chow every time you start streaming. <laughs> <laughs> ka -chow, ka -chow. <laughs> Oh my Eating. god. The, <laughs> the, the branding possibility there with the whole fox body thing and all that. Yeah. Big yeah. big brain. You heard it from you heard it from the beard himself. <laughs> Might as well just glue a, a hood ornament to your forehead, dude. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh man, what's up, Travis? How you uh... doing, man? Oh dang, dude. Well this has been a lot of fun, guys. I really enjoyed this. Uh, we'll for sure have to have you guys on again for sure, either the, at the same time or separately, whichever. Whichever. We can do like a little one-on-one -on -one thing at some point if you want. Uh, but if we're all done here, no more questions in the chat, no more questions from the guys, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Um, once again, guys, this will be available on all the podcast stuff, so you can go back and rewatch the VOD if you missed some of it. Either way, thanks for hanging out, guys. And... We will see you tomorrow on the next one with Mr. Jamel Andreas Skolt Gaming. Yes. All right, y'all have a good one. See you later. Bye, everybody. Bye. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao.